Hello and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. In today's video of custom QuickBooks training, I'm going to show you a couple of ways to enter money that you spend on your business, but from your personal bank account. So first, let's completely eliminate the idea of connecting our personal bank account to QuickBooks. There's a couple of easy ways to take care of this. The first one is if you go to your chart of accounts, and then you say, I, I want to log money that I have invested into my business. I'm going to go to my owner's investment register. So I'm just going to find owner's investment and click on view register. You might have called it something else, but the premise is the same. In the upper left hand corner, it says add journal entry. That feels a little bit intimidating, but it's not so bad. When you click on add journal entry, you can just fill in the fields. And so let's do this as of today. We're going to say the payee is McDonald's. So who got the money? McDonald's got the money. Um, for a reason, we'll say breakfast with the team. Um, I'm going to increase the amount of money I have invested in my business by $25. I'm not decreasing, I'm increasing. It's coming from my pocket into my business. For the account, I'm gonna choose meals and entertainment. I'm gonna select save. Now by doing this, some weird goofy thing that happens, it's negative. If I click refresh, it'll be positive. Okay, so now it's positive, that's fantastic. If I come down here and I click on edit, I'll see the debits and credits screen. I like doing it the way I just showed you because you don't have to remember debits and credits. Like maybe you get it that you, maybe you understand debits are on the left, but maybe you don't understand, is my expense going to go under the debit column or the credit column? I think it's just easier to use it like a register. Now the other way that I like doing this is that I like to make a, a temporary bank account and, and just log all my transactions in that bank account. This that I have just shown you is definitely the shorter, faster, easier way, but I want to show you a second way and then I'll show you the value in the second way. So right now we're back at the chart of accounts. I'm just going to make a bank account. So the account type will be bank. The name, I'm going to call it petty cash. It doesn't matter what you call it. So I have this petty cash register. I'm going to click on View Register on the right. Get rid of my pop-ups. I'm going to click on Expense. So it's today's date again. I'm going to go McDonald's. You can see a theme here. So McDonald's. Actually, you know what? The last one was breakfast. Let's do lunch with the team. And we'll go $50. And we'll go meals. And save. So at this point, it's a negative. That is definitely true. I've spent money that did not exist in the first place. Let's imagine that I had a whole year's worth of stuff. I would then, at the end of my year, I would just come in here and say, okay, I need to make this um, m money that is over, John, make it a zero dollars. So you could do it at once a year, you could do it once a month, whatever you want. And I would just say, I'm investing money from my personal bank account into my business. So I'm going to do that and click save. So now my petty cash register is at zero. It's as if I had taken money out of my personal checkbook, put it in a cash box at the front or back or wherever you keep your cash box. And then I, I took money out of it to buy things that I needed, you know, for the company, for the office, for whatever. That's two different ways to do the exact same thing. You obviously would not record your money twice. You would record your money once. Let me show you the value in doing this way, which is absolutely the longer way. If I wanted to know how much money did I spend at McDonald's or QuickBooks, could you show me the number of times I've gone to McDonald's? Can you show me my history? I can come over here to expenses on the left and I can go to vendors. I can then find the vendor McDonald's. I see one transaction. I see my lunch with the team transaction. I do not see the $25 that I entered the first time, the breakfast transaction. 
This is why I will sometimes go the longer route. If I'm working with a client and I think the client is gonna want a way to look up the money that they've given to different companies or different people, I'm 100% gonna have them go the long route so that when they come over here and they look at their list of transactions, they can see, oh, that's that money I've spent at that place. To be fair, you can find it if you hunt hard enough. If we go to the magnifying glass in the upper right hand corner and we search for McDonald's, um, I see, hmm, it's not intuitive. I'm like, I see journal entry number one, which was the breakfast transaction. There's basically no way that you would know that that's McDonald's. Let's see if I put that there. Nope, it didn't fix it. If I go McDonald's up here. I can search for display name. McDonald's vendor, yes, search. Still just the one. If I go to reports, and I say I want uh, expenses by vendor summary, uh, come down here to McDonald's, 75. If I click on it, I'll get here. Like it is 100% possible to find it. I don't want you to think that it's not possible, but I do want you to know that if you want something to show up in the list here, you have to you have to make um, a transaction that's an expense, a check, a bill. If you don't do one of these things, it won't show up in this list over here. So it's not a make or break, it's more like, here's a weird fun fact that might be useful for you. If there's anything I can help you with, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you so much.